Karina here. Happy Frugal Friday to you. We're doing a summer themed makeup look today. And the great thing about this is that it is one of the most easy tutorials I have ever done. I mean, seriously, it's the easiest one ever. The great thing about it is that it uses very little products to recreate the entire look because for a summer, makeup look, you really don't want to be wearing a lot on your face if you're anything like me. I know exactly how many of you out there may feel, especially when you live in a humid climate like some of us. And in today's video, I'm going to be featuring some cosmetics from the Essence Cosmetics line. Several of you have been telling me how great Essence is, and I just stumbled across them when I was tolling through Ulta this past week and decided I'd pick up a few products, especially for Frugal Fridays. So let me show you how to recreate the entire face. First thing we're gonna do in this look is prime the eye. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer here, and we're gonna begin with one of the Jane eyeshadows in Natural. And I'm applying this into the crease with the Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. And this is the Essence eyeshadow that we're gonna be using in this look. It's called Fox in the Box Metallic Effect Eyeshadow. And it does have a metallic effect, as you can see there. Very beautiful eyeshadow. It's an orangey brown in my eyes. That's how I would describe the color here. I am applying this eyeshadow damp onto the eye, so it's a little bit stronger. But this eyeshadow is so good, you don't need to apply it wet. Then I'm going to take the blending shade from the Physicians Formula Classic Nudes Quad and use this to highlight the brow bone. And then I'm going to go in with L'Oreal's Infallible Eyeshadow in Iced Latte and add a little bit of this under the brow bone for that beautiful summer glow. And I'm filling in the brows here with a Physician's Formula Pencil, curling the lashes, and applying a little bit of mascara. False eyelashes that we're going to be using today are Red Cherry number 523. You don't have to apply false eyelashes in this look. I'm simply doing it because I want a little bit more lash than what I have right there. And the great thing about these is that you don't need to line your eyes. You can apply them just as is and they look so completely natural. I'm using a new concealer. This is from Rimmel. It's Cover the Blemish or something like that. And it works really well. It was actually placed in the Essence Cosmetic display stand. So I picked it up thinking it was an Essence product only to find out during this tutorial that no, it's really a Rimmel product. And I'm really glad that somebody did misplace it in the Essence stand. Otherwise, I probably would not have gotten it on my own. What a way to be positive, right? Yeah, positive. And then for my face, I'm going to be using the Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. Didn't feel like using a brush today, so I used my hands. And word to the wise, if you do use your hands for applying your foundation, make sure you wash them beforehand so you're not spreading any excess bacteria onto your face, which can lead to breakouts and irritation. For my powder today, I'm using another Essence product. This is the All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. Pretty impressed with this stuff. It doesn't last as long as, say, your higher end pressed powders, but it was pretty darn comparable, both in finish and consistency. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronzer onto the hollows of my cheeks, along my jawline, and then along my forehead. And this is gonna give me more of a summer glow because I want to have a little bit of color in my face to make me look a little bit lively here since this is a summer look, but I don't want it to be too overpowering. Another Essence product here, this is one of their blushes in Life's a Cherry. And I'm tapping it off the brush there because as I applied it, I realized, whoa, that is pigmented. And it is. Even after applying it to my face, I'm realizing what a pigmented blush that is. Is. So to apply this blush, I applied a little bit onto the apples of my cheeks and then I went back with a big fluffy brush, the same one we used to apply the bronzer, and I buffed it into this skin and really sheared it out. After doing that, I really love the color of this blush. I'm gonna add some extra highlight to the tops of my cheeks. I'm going back with some more of Iced Latte, the same eyeshadow we used before from L'Oreal. Our final essence product is for the lips. It's the Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss. And this is in number three, Candy Bar. Oh, and this stuff, let me tell you, smells so good. It's like sweet candy. And then I'm going to go back with a Kleenex and go along the edges of the lipstick so that it's a much cleaner and sharper line. So let me know what 
makeup item you have discovered this year from the drugstore or one that you've been using for years now that you can't live without in the summer? What is the one item that either doesn't run off your face or make you feel like you're wearing just way too much? I would love to hear your feedback in your comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you again next Friday for another Frugal Friday. Have a great weekend.